All right. Welcome back to the Space Wheel channel. I've spent a little over two years consistently working inside of Unreal as a solo dev. I don't regret it, but it has definitely had its challenges. If you're thinking about using Unreal as a solo developer, here's some things to think about. And I will start with programming. When I first started learning Unreal, I picked up a few C++ courses online that I found, and I didn't realize how harsh the learning curve was going to be. I'd programmed in Unity for a while, so I was familiar with C Sharp, and I didn't really think that the jump from C Sharp to C++ was going to be as bad as it was. But uh, I think trying to do it in Unreal was what made it even worse. Because you're also having to learn the syntax, the structures, the framework. And when you're a solo dev, you kind of understand that time is just way too valuable, valuable to be spending so much time on one thing. Unreal is already a beast of an engine to learn, so you're adding a lot of pressure to yourself if you're also trying to learn this giant skill of C++ um, on top of everything else that you need to have polished as well to even complete a game. Because it's not all about programming. I didn't want to use blueprints because I thought it may be limiting. I'd heard that somewhere, but you know, you never know until you actually try it. And even the creator of Choo Choo Charles mentioned that he mostly just used blueprints and it was able to accomplish anything that he needed to get done. And since I switched to blueprints, I can also confirm this. Any project that I've started, I've always been able to make what I needed to make inside of blueprints. But I think hearing it from a well-established creative dev like Gavin it did push me down the path of learning blueprints and I'm so happy that it did. Because even if you do decide that you want to do C++ and Unreal, learning blueprints is still the best way to go at the beginning because it's so integrated with their system that like all the functions that you're gonna be using in blueprints, you're also going to be calling in C++. So if you just learn the blueprints first, then you'll know some functions to call while you're coding in C++. But blueprints can be a huge game changer especially if you're a single person team. Now, before we move to graphics, it would mean the world if you guys could leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the journey. I am gonna start trying to post this content more frequently and I'll have some devlogs in the near future. No one will deny Unreal's graphic capabilities. I feel like we're all on board with saying that it pretty much takes the cake along, you know, when you're comparing this to other engines, it's like, if you're making realistic graphics, Unreal's just the way to go. It comes with fantastic shaders, starter templates, built-in systems. The problem lies that yes, you can get your game off the ground pretty quickly, but Unreal has a bad rap for having games look the same. And I would say not even look the same, but feel the same too. So working in other engines usually forces you down the path of a more creative environment because you're not relying so heavily on the engine to have that set up for you. Because it's like, why would you tinker with Unreal's graphic capabilities anyways? Like, it's great out of the box. I would say there is a way around this, though. And that's just to stop relying on the engine to do all the heavy lifting and rely on your vision. And your vision may look like an Unreal game. Like, if you want super realistic graphics and everything that's pre-packaged out of the box, then that's great. But if your vision for a game is like a cartoonish look, then you'll have to learn to get that out of Unreal. So I would just say rely on your vision and not the engine. But a sad reality is that most beginner devs will just use one of those starter templates and then just buy some asset packs and throw it all together. But those games just kind of blend together and then you have like a million games looking and feeling the same. So even if you are a solo dev, don't take the easy way out. You will still have to put just as much blood, sweat, and tears to try to make a unique game and fight the stigma of it being just another Unreal game. Now I want to talk about the community of Unreal devs. I feel like the community is pretty small. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of solo devs out there using Unreal Engine, but I'm only comparing that to the other engines out there like Godot and Unity. I feel like most of the solo devs are focused on those. Or maybe the people using Unreal is just banging their head over cast iron skillets. I don't know. But I would say that I've had a harder time asking for help or finding documentation in this community. But I think sometimes you just have to fight through the struggles to really learn it yourself. Uh, but I would say that documentation can kind of solidify what you're doing. So I wish the documentation was a little bit better. In my experience, if you're going to choose Unreal as a solo dev, then you're kind of taking a lonelier approach because the community does feel a little bit smaller. And that might just be my opinion. And I could be wrong. Maybe I just haven't found the right groups to join. If you guys know of some good discords or groups out there, please leave them down in the comments. Regardless of the engine that you choose, if you do choose Unreal, stick with it. There's been many times where I've thought about going back to Unity or trying out Godot, but I think it's only the times when I feel like I'm really stuck and I can't get past this part, and I'm like, well, if I was only in Unity, 
then I'd be able to fix it. And most of the time, that's just not the case. You just got to keep pushing through and stick with the engine that you choose. If you're also an Unreal dev, I would love to hear why you chose Unreal and maybe some games that you've made. Just leave them in the comments below and I'll check it out. Take care, guys. Thank you.